When you run a secondary thread, it will run to completion or until an exception occurs or when you explicitly interrupt it from the process that created it. I'll show you how to do this explicit interruption in the project interrupt thread. This main class creates an instance of a class called myThread and then starts the thread. And in that thread, there's a loop that's outputting something to the command line once per second. I'll execute that application and you'll see the output of the string from secondary thread five times and then the application finishes on its own. Now, I'm going to go back and make one little change to the custom thread. Instead of outputting an error, I'm going to design this to expect an interruption. Within the catch block that's executed when an interrupted exception is thrown, I'll output the text thread interrupted. I'll save that change and come back to the main class. Now within the main class, I'm going to add a sleep command. I'll call thread.sleep and I'll sleep for 2500 milliseconds or two and a half seconds. That command might throw an exception, so I'll click on the error in the trough and then add the surround with try catch. And that lets me handle an interrupted exception to the call to the sleep method. Then after the call to the try catch block, I'll call the interrupt method on the thread object, calling t.interrupt. After I call the interrupt method, I'll output a message to the console of called interrupt. So reviewing the code, in the main class, I'm going to start the thread and then wait two and a half seconds. The secondary thread will loop once per second and try to output the string five times, but it'll be interrupted by the main class, which only waits two and a half seconds. And here's the result. I'll run the application. I see three outputs from the secondary thread and then the message called interrupt that's output by the main class and then the message thread interrupted from the thread itself. The interesting thing is that the main class finishes its execution even after it calls the interrupt method and the thread only throws its exception after that. So that's how you explicitly interrupt a thread that's already being executed. And again, if you don't do that, it'll typically carry on to completion unless another exception is thrown.